Okay, so we are looking at the Ontario curriculum for what? So the uh, Ministry of Education Ontario has just released their new mathematics curriculum for grades 1 to 8, and you are here to react to the coding skills expectation um, found in the new curriculum. And as a computer programmer, Craig, what are your thoughts with what you see here? We'll start with grade one and then we'll move up to grade eight. So solve problems and create computational representations of mathematical situations by writing and executing code, including code that involves sequential events. Okay, so thing one, uh, there is no writing and executing code at this point. Um, grade one, you're definitely not writing or... You're just learning to write. Uh, yeah, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're just learning to write English. Definitely not learning to write code. Um, that being said, I mean, you can use other things like uh, Scratch Junior, mm -hmm. for example, to sort of do yeah. a drag and drop type of thing. That'll just have pictures and then that, the kids will be able to see like an arrow pointing up and then an arrow pointing down. Yeah. And things and, like that. Yeah. And it's a lot more sort of self-contained. You don't really need to actually write or execute anything. Um, so yeah, well, I guess maybe execute. Um, all right. Uh, but then it also goes on to talk about sequential events. Now the sequential events is the key component here. Um, so sequential events basically meaning like, uh, like steps or instructions in order. So like a cookbook that says step one, do this thing. Step two, bake for this long. Step three, take out of oven. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, uh, for computers, the more specific you can be about your steps, the the better. And yeah, so learning sequential events right right off the bat, definitely the way that you want to do things. Well, in the um, the English language curriculum, um, we do procedural writing anyways. So there you go. That's that's literally all this would essentially be, except if you wanted to put it into a code context in practical terms, using something like, yeah, Scratch Junior, where your your sequential events are basically just going to be pictorial representations of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so grade two, uh, again, not writing or executing code. So <laughs> I guess just ignore the entire top third, two thirds of this. <laughs> Um, uh, involving sequential and concurrent events. Huh. So concurrent in computer, uh, for me, in computer terms, is kind of nonsensical. Uh, computers don't do things at the same time. Uh, so uh, when your computer is running, even though you think that things are sort of running at the same time, it's actually just doing one thing really, really fast. Mm -hmm. So it's just executing a whole bunch of instructions really fast. Um, so things aren't really happening at the same time. That being said, I mean, you, you can get things like multiple processors or have an entire network of computers or servers that are doing different things at the same time. Uh, and then, you know, like, so, yeah, you can do it that way or, you, like, you can do things like multi-threading and stuff like that. But, like, yeah, grade two, definitely not doing anything like any of that. Um, so I don't really know what they're talking about with concurrent <laughs> events. Um, my guess is if you were doing, again, something with like Scratch Junior, you have a thing like when you click go, it makes one character move and another character move at mm -hmm. quote unquote at the same time. Um, again, fundamentally, they're not happening at the same time. But I mean, at this level, yeah, I guess you could say like, the two characters are moving at the same yeah. time. And so I guess, I'm guessing that's what they're basically getting at with concurrent is just... Yeah, well, concurrent the, comes up in grade two, grade three, and grade four. Yeah, so, I mean, you're, you're basically going to be looking at, I guess... Yeah, you, you'd be going over, like, sort of glossing over the fact, I suppose, that computers don't do things at the same time. I mean, it, like, from a kid's point of view, I suppose, it, it looks like they're happening at the same time because they just happen individually so fast, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it basically makes no difference functionally, I suppose. So, okay, yeah, I guess I'll give them that. All right, so grade three, um, we're looking at sequential, concurrent, and repeating events. So this is where we're getting into the loops. So mm -hmm. loops are one of the foundations of doing anything meaningful in computer programming. Um, whenever you want to do something, you tend to want to do that same thing at mm -hmm. least 
once, probably more than once. So like every time I click with my mouse, I want it to be able to register that I am opening a file, for example. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, computers, you want to be having those repeating events. Yeah. So again, going back to the, like the cookbook ex like example, you could have something like um, break five eggs, and then the instructions for how do I break eggs into a bowl. So I get my egg, I crack it, I open it up, and and spill the contents into the mm -hmm. bowl. And then, you repeat, and then that. repeat that. So you can say do that five times, or you can just say as long as I have eggs available to me, then I can do this until I don't have eggs mm -hmm. anymore. And so number of eggs equals zero. Yeah, so until number of eggs equals zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah.